If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll never miss a new episode, and check out our Patreon for exclusive videos, photos, and more. The reason he's gone crazy is obviously too much flossing those teeth up the tip off. Look at that, Bad Theater starring what's his name? Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to an extra spooky episode of Rifcoms. It is I, Moth. Mustress of the Pearl. Dark! Ah, you fucking... We're watching Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> hey, you... I, 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 uh, it's, a, it's a ghost. This is so disrespectful. We're watching Tale of the Phone Police. Hell yeah. <laughs> because every time we talk about bad Are You Afraid of the Dark the episodes... Phone police. The yeah. Phone Police! The Phone Police! da 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 Where's the spooky leprechaun? You the think it's a you think it's a leprechaun? I think it's, it's a leprechaun. I think it's a clown. That's a leprechaun. That's a clown. That's a spooky fan. Oh, it's backwards for oh, copyright. No. <laughs> All right, I mean. Diarapha era. Crud. The audience won't know because well maybe I will leave it that way. Maybe it'll help me avoid copyright too. Sup, Gary? Oh, god damn it. Of course it'd be dog shit. It's yeah. a Tucker story. Well, and they even said, where is Tucker? Oh. He's gonna show up with the phone. <laughs> he's gonna twirl I'm not around. kidding, because he's calling on a phone. What rich kid has a cell phone right now? Uh, that's right, he tells it over the phone. Oh, are you kidding me? It of fall it in help. Did y'all ever do prank phone calls to random numbers? Yes. No. We would just look at people in the phone book and fuck with them. You would actually, but see, that's that's even less random than I thought. Why, if a child calls you an obvious hi, child voice, hi, yeah. you want to get squee this fucking squeaker? Oh my god, this squeaker on the phone said $1 million. Looking like Jerry O'Connell. He's a fucking QVC salesman. Right? Don't let this one of a kind. We got Cupid's Coney. It's Coney. a Michael Jordan rookie card! <laughs> R.I.P. Dunlops. Ah, it's the sister! Did you see the way, like, she smacked one of them in the face with the phone? <laughs> no! Yeah, she fucking stiffed him. <laughs> she really did. You know she means business because she's got a blazer on. That's his sister? Yeah. It's not his mom? Where's grandma? See, That's not, not his great grandma? Yeah, see, she said you're not going to tell mom and dad, are you? Of course not, they're dead. I'm 40. What is that? What the fuck is that? I'll tell you what it is. It's green cum. <laughs> oh, no. <Yay. laughs> That's why you wanted to watch this episode. <laughs> I didn't even know it'd be a guest appearance by fan favorite da -da 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 Green Cum in the Rifcoms Hall of Fame. That's the thumbnail. The thumbnail. <laughs> the Green Cum nail. I'm happy to be doing Rifcoms again. <laughs> she just poured it out. This is why I'm saying we should only do Halloween ones. The Green Cum's turn. Gotta pour it out. She forgot it was cum. Now she's way too close into the camera. Back up! Why did she pour it out? Ma'am. Back your 50-year-old face out of the frame. I thought that was an old-fashioned vibrator. I did too, actually, for a second. I'm gonna beat your ass with a fucking Hitachi, and it'll yeah. fucking knock your ass senseless. Yeah. It's so fucking heavy. It'll be a Hitachi from, like, the 70s. Mm. Yeah. It's got, like, six-inch cord plugged into the wall. Beat you with a fucking crank vibrator. Yeah. I'll beat you above the head with a fucking Sibian. Oh, good. It probably Just weighs like 150 uh, pounds. Tunk. What you doing, drugs? Not only do you remember phone books, but remember when phone books were that fucking huge? I started, I, I got weirded out when they started getting really thin. Oh, yeah, you just felt like people were dying off. Just like... The, the number only had oh. six digits. Oh! <gasps> Why is your voice so deep? Just woke up. You're literally four. 
Why is there so many stripes in this scene? You gotta help me. Yeah, I thought this was Canadian. Why the fuck you got an American flag? You got an American flag. You got stripes. From That's not lines. how phones work. You have to unplug it from the actual phone. Kid, you gotta help me. I'm Peter McAllister, the, the father. father. This kid's so dumb. Ah, just, just gently pushes it. Yeah, just knock it onto the floor. That's well, fine. It's probably someone's like actual phone. They don't want to break it. it. Are those fucking parking meters, but against the wall? Yeah, that's weird. Oh my god, it is. You whack ass like, Canadian streets. I guess Making me keep, walk four feet. I mean, I guess it's to keep people from like running into them. Hey, Lisa. <gasps> it's a payphone. It's a spooky payphone, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Oh my. god. Phone company, what do you want? Always filing the nails. What do you want, cakes? What What happened there? Like, it's dark on her face, but except around her eyes and the bridge of her nose. Probably it's a sunburn. Yes, children, go into the basement. Yes, go into the basement. There ain't no basement at the phone company. Hey, Forrest Gump. She's ringing a doorbell. She's gonna release the hounds. The woman with the weird sunburn told us, so it must be okay. Are we gonna see uh, Mr. Sardo or Dr. Vink with a va va va? I have Mr. Sardo in another episode I actually picked out. Not to spoil it too Accent much. Accent on the dough. It's a curmudgeon! Yeah. Yo, phone! <laughs> we don't get very many of these nowadays. These? Where do you think you are? Fun Coland. I feel like parents watched kids act like this in TV shows, and they were like, "Y'all are gonna run off. Y'all are gonna get I, killed. You're gonna just, t you're gonna do anything any adult says. That's literally that's what I have to tell you all how to do all these things." And then it's just like, a creepy guy who looks like John Waters in a burgundy blazer is gonna with a bad phone patch on it. It's oh, the phone Nazis. You're busted. This is what his friend is just like. Oh, damn. What? Oh, well. <laughs> Go home. Well. What? He's in solitary confinement. Oh, shit. Okay. What was that? It's Billy Barty. Dang, you get a free phone in this in this yeah, phone Yeah, really. Prison? They give you a, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, you don't have that like fucked up like privatized pay system like most prisons have now. You just gotta go. You get one free phone call. Now you can just call. You can just seriously just have friends on the phone yeah, all fuck all night. Yeah. I like how he's running, kind of smiling. Yeah. He can't wait to tell someone. <laughs> the funniest thing just happened. Dude, y'all gotta y'all are gonna believe this shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm 40. <laughs> I was just filing my taxes. What do you need? Yeah. <laughs> the I don't talk to Jake. The phone police deletes his identity. Oh my god. Oh my god! No, I'm not kidding. I'll bean you. Bean you? <laughs> yeah, I'll bean you, cakes. It's full of beans. <laughs> oh! Dude, how many Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes are like this? Remember we, remember that episode we watched, the uh, Forever game? No. Where it was this kid and he was riding bikes in the woods, fell into this big tree, and there was this kid <laughs> in like yeah. sepia tone clothing who was just like, we're gonna play a board game. Uh, and he's yeah. like, if you beat me, you go free, but if you lose, you take my spot here forever. That's how it happens in all these episodes. Uh. Now his name's in the phone book with six digits. Of course it is. And he's gonna say, you gotta help me. My dick's caught in the phone. <laughs> I tried to screw up the receiver and fuck it. I saw its innards and I want to fill it with cum. You would do the same thing. Don't lie to me. Oh, yeah, we've all had that intrusive thought. <laughs> I got a My Little Pony phone. <laughs> I just put a My Little Pony. <laughs> My little, my little pony. My little pony, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey everybody! This guy's Damn. a big fat phony. He's like my little phony. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, then I fill it with cum. <laughs> Who's saying yay? Everybody. Oh. 
<laughs> Everybody at home, they all know. Everybody at phone. Yeah, what do you... <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Cancel the phone. Is she not suspicious that this kid shows up a second time? Like, anyone showing up should raise suspicion. Her fingers are just gonna be nubs. There's like a huge pile of nail shavings yeah. under her. It's like a mountain. If you worked at the phone company, wouldn't you just expect phones would be ringing all the time? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. No, because then you gotta, you gotta put down your skin mag and go uh, open a big old-timey vault door to answer sure. a phone. Oh, uh, oh, so wait, that kid, like, rigged it so that he, so that it would keep ring- This kid's a fucking freaker. Freddy Freaker! Well, you're kind okay. of trapped, dickhead. Yeah, I mean... Oh! Yes! We get to break stuff now? This is cool. Darn it. Give me something to break. About your, your fucking, fucking phone. phone. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Why is the old man leading the way? <laughs> I don't like, know! Seriously, he's like leading the charge while he's like youthful phone policeman or... It's a huge... Prison? Huh? 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 Were they peeing on him? That's the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, two kids could totally okay. lift up a manhole cover. Or the beginning That's of the just beat one it, kid. Yeah. One kid. He's damn. freakishly strong. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly what this place is. Like, it's called the Phone Company. Yeah, it's the Phone Company. But all we've seen is that it's like a giant prison. Like, what else do they do? Do you think there's gonna be another episode? On, no, like, never. <laughs> Not after this. This is canceled. Another another episode where kids are opening somebody else's mail and then the mail police come. Ooh. And they arrest them. Oh god, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, do you hear that? The other part of their symbol is a eh, 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 Yeah. Eh, eh. Okay. That's kind of creepy. I like that. The kid on the right, Amazing there was a scene where the oh, kid on the right was trying to blink and was just like... Oh. I can't believe I ate the whole phone. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's the phone the police uh, delivery. Ew. It's Mike's just Glasgow. Why'd you let him in? Pizza. How embarrassing. Like, I don't get it. And they never talked on the phone again. And all all along, phones are actually evil, and they are the devil. So we never get closure on the other guy, either. Typically, you'd be like, oh, I'm Billy Barty. I'm free right? now. How do like, I not hear him? I resent you, Gary, for letting your shitty-ass brother tell that story instead of telling us one that was actually decent. I, I disown you, Gary. I'm leaving your mother. 